attention do you pay to the amount of fat you eat? Well, one chain of pharmacies has developed a tool which will enable you to calculate your fat age based on the amount of fatty foods you eat and how old you are. This comes amidst research which says that the average British woman has packed away 92 years worth of chocolates, cakes and crisps <laughs> by the time she's 50. Oh, I've got a while to go. <laughs> Is that something that you would want to know, what your fat age was? Oh, do you know, not really. Because really? the thing is, I don't need to be told. I mean, we all know. Well, I try now, obviously, since I've lost weight and I do what... You've really I, educated yeah, yourself. Yeah, I have educated you? myself and I do watch what I eat. And I try and... In any one meal, I try to not eat over five grams of fat. So, I eat five grams or less of fat in any one meal. That's something I do, but I don't need someone now to tell so me So do you age. therefore know depressing. sort of roughly what meal I mean I wouldn't know what five grams if, if it was five grams or 50 grams in a meal looking at it I'd have a rough idea of whether or not it was healthy mm. but I wouldn't know that sort of amount. But everything's labelled now absolutely everything you buy is labelled. So you look at all the labels? Got, yeah I, well I just look at the grams of fat in it. Right. Because I mean you know I went out recently and I thought I'll have salad today healthy good and there was about 22 grams of fat in it because of this the salad know, dressing. Well, they say sometimes dressing. more fat in a Caesar salad than yeah. there is a pizza. Yeah. So Actual it, I fat. Was yeah, actually, when I read it, because naturally I would eat that. But I, I mean, all that counting, I, I, don't, I don't do that because I can't be bothered, but I don't eat. You know, I think you know what's got a load of fat in, don't you? Mm. Biscuits, cakes, and all that stuff. Anything with, you know. Chocolate, yeah, yeah, chocolate. Pizza. But I, I, I absolutely love butter. I love it. Yeah. And I will not eat that fake butter. I won't. I, have, ugh, I can't stand the thought of it. So I do put, like, lots of butter on my toast. And Mark always says to me, Do you want some toast with your butter? Because <laughs> I put so much on it. And I love it. But, but and I love. Very strict everywhere else. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I, you I am, yeah. But, and chicken skin. I eat yeah, the whole yeah, chicken big, skin. Big, big, big chicken oh, skin. I love it. It's my but favourite. Makes me laugh you. If you've got a fat age of 92, what about my eye age of 102 when I can't see what's written on the sign? <laughs> well, yeah, what's the point? Hello. <laughs> Would you like? Hey. We did, we did we question did the girls just before the show to work out what your fat age is. And I have before oh, me the well, results. How is this going to help anybody? Seriously. <laughs> so your actual age, Colleen? 44. Your fat age, 41. Oh. Your saturated fat age, 47. Oh. oh. Well, Linda, actual age, 60. Your fat age is 50. Oh. Your saturated oh. fat age is 60. You're right where you should be, slightly below, in Easy. fact. Doing very well. And I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, my actual age, 42. My fat age is only 33. You obviously lied. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> my saturated fat age is 38. But Carol's is very impressive. Actual age, 49. Fat age, 38. Saturated fat age, 48. Very, very good. good. Oh. You're doing very well. I think the fat age should be when were you at your fattest? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's, in, what's interesting always That's about, true, about all this, this business about fats and everything, after the war, people ate butter, milk, cream, cheese, eggs, eggs, cheese, all that dripping. Stuff. And people weren't fat, but they didn't eat all the rubbish in between. They didn't eat the crisps well, yeah, and the that's, that's diet the drinks and the fizzy drinks. And, and the that's, processed yeah, food. And yeah, also the processed they walked foods. more. And mm. they walked. You know, but, you know, the, it was... And children shouldn't ha oh. should have their milk and their cheese and the... The good old days. Yeah, yeah. good old days. Yeah. Lard and Well, uh, talking yes. of fat, one London council has taken a step to stop the children of the borough becoming overweight by banning this. <laughs> Yep, Harrow Council has put a stop to ice cream vans parking in residential areas in an attempt to stop people getting fat. Oh, that's terrible. So would you miss the sound of the old ice cream van? Oh, I, I would. So yeah, I mean, that's just... Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I was a child, I used to live for it, you know, and it so was that exciting. moment when you heard it and you go, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, and mum's like that, trying to get the money out. It's the only time I ran. <laughs> oh, I would not have missed my screwball for anybody. Oh, no. <laughs> but, you know, I like those squidgy 99 flake, you know, 99 yeah. flake oh, in it. Oh, you push the flake down the corner and that's the last bit. But you know that whirly, 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 softy, what's it, ice cream that yeah. you get from the van? Yeah. Actually, believe it or not, yes, she's got a bad neck. <laughs> I've got a bad neck. I've got a stiff neck. That's a why robot. I'm like a robot today. Um, 
isn't actually that fat, hasn't got that much fat in it. It's full of hideous chemicals and, and <laughs> God knows what else, but it isn't actually that fattening. Apparently, fat in. Yes. You can't Apparently. Beat you can't, can you? Yeah, but, you know, I just think it's a... It's, you could stop spoiling everybody's fun. It's not the ice cream van that makes everyone fat. It's people stuffing ten of them in their mouth at the same, same time. time. <laughs> That's what makes them fat. God! I, did, I loved the ice cream van when it came around. It was always pink and it was always, like, really old. Like, how it's often, just about how to often were you allowed out. to go to the ice cream oh, van? Oh, once a week. You can't have we been couldn't. allowed. We you only had one it. bean between we four of We had one yeah. bean. <laughs> <laughs> we only had one once a week, but I had an oyster. Do you remember the oysters? Little wafers oh, with yeah, the coconut and thing. marshmallow. And, oh, ooh, oh, I love was. it when Kira gets uh, um, an ice cream. Because she, she gets bored halfway through. And, you get and I always go, no, I won't have one. Watch my waist. And then I'm like that with Kira. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I've had enough. And I go, oh, silly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then you bite the end off the cone and suck all the oh, yeah. ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. No, but, uh, we didn't have one when I was growing up that came around where we lived. But every time I visited my nan and granddad, they had one. Tony Bell. Tony Bell. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the pink one. I don't think I don't even know if they're in business anymore. But um, they used to dash out there with your pocket money every have, night. Have you ever seen, right? Has anyone ever seen a new ice cream van? They always look like converted camper vans that are about to conk out. They do. do they not they work, make ice cream vans they anymore? No. And I don't believe in those ones where it's scooped ice cream. That's not an ice cream oh, van. No, no, it's no got scoops. to come out of a machine. It's yeah. got to be full of those full hideous of chemicals, <laughs> otherwise it's no Full fun. of air. <laughs> <laughs> right, our next guest found.